What is up, YouTube land? Big Muff Melvin coming at you once again on this beautiful Thursday evening. Look what I got on the bench here. Okay, so don't judge me. My uh, work area is also an art area that I share with the family and the kids. So I know I need something under the headstock there, but whatever. So stop by the pond and to my surprise, there was a Fernandez Vertigo just hanging on the rack over there. So I look at the price, it says $59, and I'm like, what? Always wanted one of these back in the day, like in the early 2000s, or the late 90s. Yeah, late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, Rob Zombie's guitar play, player during the Hillbilly Deluxe days. Um, played one of these. I remember he had all kinds of crazy ones, like with blood in it and all this stuff so yeah 59 bucks i was like oh man i can't pass that up and the dude said you know i'm looking at it and the, the pawn shop guy says let me make you a deal on that that you can't walk away from today and i'm like okay what are you thinking he says 45 dollars, and i say sold okay so there's some problems with this though no nut bridge and tailpiece so you're thinking, oh, that could be pretty hard to find for one of these. I think these are 90s models, guitars, late 90s, maybe early 2000s. I think these are the lower end one with these pickups. So I think this is like the, the other ones had active pickups, I believe. But check this out. Boom. There's a little baggie. Got the nut. And this. Pretty sure that's all the pieces it's missing. So I'm gonna put this bad boy back together, throw some super slinkies. Usually go for the hybrid or the heavy top, skinny bottom or skinny bottom, heavy top, whichever one they are. Is usually what I go for, but I figured today I stopped by the guitar store, so I'm gonna try some super slinkies on this thing. We'll see what it does. So I'll meet you guys in the uh, bat cave and we'll, after I get done working on this thing, cause I don't have my tripod down here to actually film me working on it, but you know, maybe one day right, I'll do guys, that. guys, we're back in the bat cave here. So yesterday, you know, uh, the first part of this video you'll see was from yesterday, but <clears throat> yesterday I stopped by the pawn shop after work and uh, I'm not really looking for anything. You know, it's a couple of days before Christmas, so trying to do that and get, uh, you know, get, <laughs> conserve the cash flow until after Christmas or whatever, get Christmas done. And then wasn't really expecting to find anything, uh, you know, being so close to Christmas and all, but to my surprise, I walk in and see this Fernandez Vertigo. It's the Fernandez Vertigo X, I do believe. And this is, uh, you can tell by the 12th fret there, some kind of little cool logo. Um, I always thought these were cool guitars, cool body shape. I guess this would, cons you can consider this an offset guitar. It's pretty dang offset. This is the, I think this is the lower end model of these. There was a higher end one that came with active pickups. These just have normal humbuckers which I'm probably going to change out, throw maybe a, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about doing something different rather than a JB or Super Distortion or something like this. I think I might try like a uh, Invader in here maybe or a Dimebuck or something different like that. But yeah, so long story long, um, I always thought these guitars were cool. I think these were made, I don't know the exact specs on this by the way, so this will be a, a Piss Poor Review. Maybe I should change the name to is Piss Poor Reviews. I don't know the specs on these, but they were, I do believe these were made from 1990, what I read, 96, I think 96 or 98, 96, 98, something like that, to 2002. I think it was when these were made. Now, I always remember this guitar from uh, Rob Zombie's guitar player. I think his name was Mike Riggs. I always remember the Dragula video, him jamming one of these. Yeah. So, uh, don't know any specs, don't know what the neck is, I think, I guess it's probably rosewood. Uh, it does have a ding here on the butt, which is cool. I think it looks cool. Uh, it could use some more relicking, I think. Um, Gibson style bridge was easy to set up. Cool headstock, Fernandez. I think this is made in China. Now, if you can see, I don't know if you can see the fretboard on here but there's quite a bit of yeah catch it there's quite a bit of play in some of these frets but she's still got some life in her let's hear this uh fernandez vertigo uh, x model perhaps i don't know if it's an x or not standard pickups like i said oh and it does have a short in it 
in the jack. I did some soldering to get it back working mostly, but it still needs some uh, electrical work done. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that much effort into fixing that because like I said, I'm probably gonna change this bridge pickup out at least, maybe both, I don't know. So let's, let's fire this bad boy up here. Like always, running through garage band headphones right now, so I haven't got my equipment in. So, um, and if you do hear a short in here, guys, like see, yeah, like when I move around there, it's got a little bit of a short. So, running through Proco Rat today, uh, so I dialed the settings as best as I could. So, all right, we'll do some clean tones and we'll do some distortion. 